Yes, we're certainly looking at masks. We anticipate masks for some time. We're looking at more contactless services than we had previously, probably a different ingress and regress into the theater. And there are things that we're not sure of at this point, uh, but we are looking at all options, speaking with the top scientists and medical professionals in the state, and they will guide us on the things we're not sure of at this point. Some of these theaters, the theater houses are quite historic. Uh, what is the likelihood of upda updating, for example, the ventilation systems? Well, certainly some of the theaters that exist have been updated. I know the theater where Frozen was playing before it shut down has a whole new air conditioning system. But we're not sure at this point if they need to be replaced. Uh, there's some belief that uh, there will be special filters added and other products that clean the air. But these are not things that we know as of right now. Has the past year forever changed Broadway theater as we know it? Well, I don't know that. We're not open. I wish I had a crystal ball. Uh, it's certainly uh, been a catastrophic year for the producers, the theater owners, and all of the people who work on Broadway. Uh, the pent-up demand tells us that people want us to be back. And we believe that once the fear of being in a theater is gone, that Broadway will be stronger than ever. I think people learned during this shutdown that Broadway and other forms of entertainment is critical to their happiness. Few people get rich on the stage. Unfortunately, uh, many of these are and were struggling actors even and actresses even before the pandemic. Are you worried that the past year might scare people away from coming to work, not just on Broadway, but in theater in general? Well, I certainly uh, understand the question. What most people don't realize is for people who work in theater and certainly in Broadway, which is the epitome uh, for many of having succeeded, is the passion to perform for others and the joy of doing that is so strong that I'm not sure they really want to do anything else. Uh, you've always heard the show must go on. Well, that's because these performers and the people that work on Broadway must do theater. So I think those that can come back will come back. The events of the past year have not just also been COVID, but we've seen other things, the, the Black Lives Matter protests, the uh, attacks on members of the Asian community. Are any of that, those incidents shaping the types of shows that are being produced, the fact that the conversation in America is changing? Well, I think the conversation has been changing for a while. If you look at the last couple of years, there were more offerings, more new shows that address those issues. But there is no question that the Black Lives Matter movement has made us all take a step back, look at how we could be more inclusive. And Broadway has never been more ready to make change and to be more inclusive. I've been with the league for 15 years and everyone is ready to make it a better place for everyone that works there. What's it been like for you as the president of the Broadway League? Broadway clearly a big part of your life, theater clearly having a central role. Over this past year, to walk through the dark lights of Broadway. It's an emptiness that I didn't even know I would ever have because we did have 250 to 350,000 people walking in the theater district every day and the energy and the excitement and the passion that they had to see the show will it gets in your blood you feel it it it's part of who you are and to have those lights be dark is is a tragedy not only for the city and for our members but for me personally broadway is such an important part of new york city's economy has there been any help uh government help either at the city 
the state or even the federal level for Broadway and the theater workers? Not so far. We've had absolutely none, but that's not unusual. Broadway has never received funds in any way. Uh, the new federal rescue plan does include governmental relief for a number of our members, and that will be the first time in history. They haven't received it yet, but we anticipate that applications will open uh, on April 8th, according to the Small Business Administration for the federal government, and we hope that those funds will flow to venues not only in New York City and to our Broadway members, but to venues across the country. So many arts workers in this country have been impacted, and so many producers and theaters have been empty and are barely hanging on. So hopefully that relief will get us back open and keep us open while we're rebuilding our audiences.